dear people of God, today we celebrate the feast of Corpus Christi, which means the feast of the most holy body and blood of Jesus Christ. Today we honor and celebrate the real presence of Jesus Christ in the Holy Eucharist in the species of bread and wine. This feast was proposed by Saint Thomas Aquinas in the 13th century to Pope Urban IV so that the church could have a special feast to focus on the Holy Eucharist. Pope, after recognizing the authenticity of the Eucharistic miracle that happened in Bolsena in Italy, established this feast in the year 1264. In all the three readings of today, we have some symbolism that points to the Holy Eucharist. In the first reading, we have a mysterious figure named Melchizedek, presented as the king and priest of Salem. We do not find this person anywhere else in the Old Testament, except in the letter to the Hebrews in the New Testament. He comes and offers bread and wine to Abraham as a sign of priestly act when Abraham returned from a war that he had won. In the second reading, St. Paul in the letter to the Corinthians speaks about the necessity of taking the Lord's Last Supper seriously by rehearsing its institution as given by the Lord. And in the Gospel passage, we have Jesus Christ feeding more than 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fish. In the way that Jesus did, the way he asked people to sit down and then perform some actions points to the Holy Eucharist. He performed four actions which every priest who celebrates Mass does these four actions. Jesus took the bread into his hand said the prayer of thanksgiving, broke it and gave it to the people to be shared. In the two readings of today, we have these four actions. Jesus used single things of bread and wine as a symbol of his body and blood. But after the prayer of consecration during the Holy Eucharist, this simple, ordinary bread and wine does not remain any more ordinary, but turns into the real body and blood of Jesus Christ substantial. We have several Eucharistic miracles where actually it has turned into body and blood of Jesus Christ. But we do not need miracles, for we believe firmly in the words of Jesus Christ at the Last Supper. The breaking of the bread symbolizes the real body of Jesus Christ broken and bruised on the cross on the Good Friday. And it is given for us so that we may eat of it and have life. Jesus in the Gospel of St. John says, I am the bread of life that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will have eternal life. My dear people of God, understand this well. Now, we are the body of Christ. We, the church, is the mystical body of Christ. Every baptized Christian is the body of Christ, called to be broken and shared with the others. How does this happen at the Holy Eucharist? Jesus, in the person of the priest, the main celebrant, wants to take us into his hand, take our faith, our body, 
our goodness, our qualities, our talents, and wants to thank God and wants to break us and then share our goodness with others. And that will happen only if we allow ourselves to be taken into the hands of Jesus and broken and shared. Many of us do not want to break ourselves today. Jesus, on this feast of his precious body and blood, calls us to take our life into our hands. Thank God for the gift of our goodness, for the gift of our various talents and qualities, and to break, meaning to break ourselves in service towards our brothers and sisters. If I have some good quality, I asked by Jesus to break myself, to share it with the others. I may have knowledge, I can thank God for that knowledge and break myself and share that knowledge with others. And so it could be the goodness the Lord has blessed us with. Thank God for it and ask grace of the Lord so that we may break ourselves in service by sharing with the others. May God give us this grace on this great feast of the Lord. Happy feast to each one of you and may God bless you.